Hi, my name is Michelle Baharia and I'm here to tell you about my um, exhibition which is at the Foundry, um, which is 17 Overway, SE11, 5RR and I think the easiest tube station is Vauxhall or you can get a bus to Vauxhall and then walk. Anyway, I'm showing you two pictures that aren't in the exhibition but they're two portraits of people who are in the exhibition, but different paintings. So this is Baroness Jane Campbell of Surbiton, and she's got a painting which is a metre 20 by a metre in the exhibition. And this is Penny Pepper, who's also got a bigger painting in the exhibition. And the exhibition is called How Do I Make You Feel? It's called How Do I Make You Feel? Not just after this picture, which I painted here but is a print because I've sold the picture so you can only buy a print um, but because um, I wanted to to bring in the notion of disability I'm a disabled person with invisible disabilities however when I tell people about some of my disabilities they jump backwards because they think it's catching I was born with my disability dyslexia it's not catching just so you know, um, and um, it also goes with you the whole of your life. And you don't necessarily know you've got it at the beginning of your life, it's as you start developing as a child. So, how do I make you feel is also about me. How do I tell people about things? Is the way I say I'm dyslexic the reason why people jump backwards? or is it something else and then during the pandemic um, it happened again because my partner got sick with covid before the first lockdown so we weren't partying at my house we were quarantining i like the word quarantine because it sounds like you're a good citizen and you quarantine you don't go and infect other people and and obviously covid was an infection and People were scared of catching it, so they'd bring food and deliver it to the front door. And then when I opened the door, they'd jump all the way back to the wall, so they weren't too close to me. People would be masked up as well and wear latex gloves and things. And it was really quite frightening, and it really reminded me of how I felt as a child when my parents as well would say to me, oh, our daughter's got dyslexia. And people would just go, like, and move backwards because it was really frightening to them. And, you know, breaking down this stereotype and the stigma people have about disability is really important to me. So do come and see the exhibition. And if you'd like to meet me at the exhibition, let me know because it's in a foyer space of a human rights organisation. So I'm very pleased to be exhibiting there. So thank you.